Hey guys and welcome back. So I am here to share a family dollar haul with you. I am taking advantage of the 5 off 25 that we have available to use until the close of business on Saturday, April the 11th. Now the 5 off 25 is a digital coupon. Therefore, you must have a family dollar account set up in order to utilize this coupon. You can simply go into your app store and download the app or go to the website by the .com and then you can sign up for an account there. You would clip the digital coupon in order to take advantage of the five off 25 savings. Now, just as with any other threshold coupon in any other store, you must purchase $25 worth of product before tax is added. And then it would be after any family dollar store coupon so let's just say for example there was a store coupon for save a dollar on toilet paper after that coupon is applied you will still have to be at a subtotal of 25 dollars okay so for any of you that may not be familiar with family dollar just that way you know how it works so again five of 25 available until the close of business on Saturday, April the 11th. And what I ended up doing was three separate transactions using three separate accounts in order to get the most savings overall. Again, taking advantage of the five off 25. Now my store is pretty laid back and they do not mind me doing multiple transactions as well as using multiple accounts. As long as I'm not holding up the line, I'm not taking a multitude of one particular product, Plus, with everything going on, there is limits placed throughout the store. So what I did was two other transactions were for my household. And then one of the transactions I did was for my neighbor. Now, I have a neighbor that lives on my street. She's a little older as well as a little wiser. And she doesn't have any family in the immediate area. So she's not wanting to get out. She doesn't really need to be out right now doing any shopping or anything. So myself, as well as a few other neighbors, have volunteered to make sure when we get out for ourselves that we see if she needs anything and we pick up those items for her. So that's what I did. Now, the first transaction I will show you will be the things that I picked up for her. And then once I drop that off and I go home, I'll show you the things I picked up for my household. Now, by all means, the things that I picked up for her is what she needed and staying within the budget that she had um, stated that she had, which was $20. All right, guys, so I had to cut the air on. So if you hear it running, my apologies, but it is Houston and it's hot. All right, so the first three items I will show you are items I picked up to go along with what I got from my neighbor that she needed in order to reach the $25 mark. But these items are actually going to be for me. So I'm just going to pay her back basically because I use her 20 to pay for it so anyways the Dawn power wash this here is five dollars there's a digital coupon for two dollars and fifty cent off so it makes it 250 then I found some gloves which I have not been able to find anywhere the Dollar Tree the 99 cent store Walmart Walgreens no one has any gloves in stock and I need to pick up more so this here is a 10 pack of disposable gloves. They were $2. There were only four left on the um, the little end cap thing. So I wish they had more, I would have picked up more, but they only have four, so I only picked up two packs. So that gives me 20 gloves and I'll just keep looking each time I get out and go to the store. So $2 each, I picked up two of those. And again, as filler items to get to that $25 mark, and then I also um, picked this up for myself. Now, what she needed was paper towel and toilet paper. Even though, first of all, I went to Walgreens first. It is Friday. This is the day that I get out and do all my errands. I did go to Walgreens first, but they had no paper products at all. No toilet paper, no paper towel, no Kleenex, nothing. So I was like, you know what? Let me just check the family dollar and see if they have any in stock because I, I'm not going to run all over to all these different stores, right? So anyways, I ended up picking up just the store brand paper towels for her. Now, even though I do resell from my own stockpile, at this point, there's just certain things I'm not letting go of. I'm not going to be reselling any cleaning supplies, paper goods, um, and things like that. Right now, no, because the stores don't have them, so I can't get my hands on it to replenish my personal stockpile. Nonetheless, said that to say this, I have name brand product in my um, stockpile. I asked her if she mind if it was store brand. She's like, I don't care what it is, just as long as it works. So 
it is what it is i have never tried the um family dollars brand on paper products but i don't know so we'll see a dollar fifty for two rows the store had a limit on four so i picked up four of these okay and then i picked her up toilet paper because she needed this as well and this was 275 275 here and again a limit of four so i picked up four of those and that was right at her twenty dollar well really it was less than twenty dollars added all my stuff in i was at 26 so i paid like 18 and some change um but again i'm going to give her back the money that i use for my stuff so i hope that made sense but nonetheless we're at a point now where i can't find I, even the, the the family dollar they had angel soft but it's angel soft. I, I look, I am bougie to an extent, and I don't even do angel soft. They did have angel soft though, and I don't know. It may angel soft may be better than the Family Dollar brand toilet paper, or this may be better than angel soft. I don't know, but I know I'm not a fan of angel soft. So I'm like, mm, no, nah, we're not gonna do that. Plus, she was able to get more bang for her buck with the store brand. So that is that. I have not been able to get my hands on any paper goods from Walgreens um, or CVS. Everybody is just out of stock. So yeah, that's the best, the next best thing. So with that being said, again, I will, when I drop this off, I'll go home and I'll show you guys what I picked up from my household. Um, but if you guys are in need of product and you're not able to pick it up at the drugstores, Walgreens, CVS, or Walmart, um, etc., try the neighborhood stores try family dollar five off 25 or the dollar general five off 25. any savings that we can get is savings especially right now all right so here's the super exciting things i picked up from my house a charcoal grill because apparently we don't have one this was 26. i used the five off 25 so I paid 20 plus tax then i did pick up some more garden supplies a few little planters that were priced between a dollar to three dollars i got these solar lights six in a pack a little water fountain thing magic what you call this a watering can really michelle a watering can that way mason can water plants and stuff and then i did get some um soil mix and all that so i need to repot my aloes that's what i'll be doing this weekend so savings is savings. Again, guys, even if you're not able to pick up some of the brand name items, as far as cleaning supplies, paper goods, etc., if you are saving, then you are saving. So definitely be sure that you're checking out your local Dollar General as well as Family Dollar stores. As always, thanks so very much. And until next time, guys, happy couponing and stay safe.